you will know when they, when they can get to that level of intermediate once they start getting quite good at relative body strength. So when they can start performing or practicing uh, full dips, full pull-ups, um, unloaded or maybe even weighted split squats, and they can start entering into doing back squat and deadlift and working against resistance, that's probably an indication that you should be splitting the body parts up and putting them into specific days. Just in principle, we categorize for max physical potential for people for a lifetime of resistance. For those who are starting out on resistance, uh, we take this principle in mind that they probably need to do a lot of the head-to-toe primal contractions every day. And so that's bending, squatting, pushing, pulling, lunging, and core activities. And there's lots of reasons as to why we believe that to be the best because we're trying to capture the lifetime of someone's resistance for, you know, let's if say they're 25, we're thinking what is it going to look like from 25 to 95. And I think a lot of people shortchange that idea in principle and all they think about is what's going to get them to the beach or what's the biggest, the coolest program is going to make them look good or lose fat. When people start out as a beginner, they should do head to toe work. Now intermediate should start splitting those body parts up. They should start splitting them up maybe into a bend and push and core day and then a squat pull and single leg uh, core day. You can just start to see that it's different than the full body in one training day now. And then as people get more central nervous system is raised up and they're capable of expressing multiple different kinds of contractions, now at an advanced level with a higher training age, they can express the three buckets of maximum contraction, strength endurance, and motor control. For those individuals, they're probably specifying movements per day now. So they're isolating actions. So they may have a hip day or bending day, they may have an upper day, they may have a squat day, they may have a lunge and a core day and just repeat that cycle over and over. And you can imagine now as people are aging in their resistance training, right? And they've got years and years of practice in and they're able to express this on the other side of the coin, because this story doesn't end when you're 42 and you just decide to give it up it goes on for another 50 years. So after that next 20 years, you're gonna go back to splitting body parts up like the intermediate did. And then guess what you're gonna be doing from 60 to 90 years of age? You're gonna be going back to full body resistance training. So chronological age, training age, and generally the amount of repetitions and the person's level of resilience largely dictates how much of it you need to do to progress to intermediate. And I'd be lying if I said, oh yeah, it's just two years, just put them in two years. Because some people can only exercise once a week. Some people think they're exercising and they exercise four times a week. See what I'm saying? With there's so much measurement that needs to go inside how much people are really doing. So someone will be saying, oh, I've been following this full body program for three years, and then you get them in an assessment and they can't do one single push up. You can see that they've actually just been moving for four years, but they haven't been doing actual any resistance head to toe. And I won't leave you just with that. I'll give you some examples. Um, I worked with numerous individuals that were older that had never done fitness before. So they were in their 40s or 50s and they had zero fitness experience. And these people couldn't do a lunge. They would practice two and a half to three times a week on average, which I figured out was the, the highest compliance rate for people who did this for decades. It would take them about four or five years to get to the point where they can start progressing into those splits. I can't go without saying that because that's the actual truth inside of a full lifetime of fitness program and you're not really told that out there. You know, everyone who's teaching the programs are teaching you these multiple methods of advanced resistance training and they're forgetting to talk about the 60 year plan for the individual and if you stretch that out you can see that it's going to take time, it is a slow game process. Um, but it'll eventually get them scaffolding up to be able to express that relative strength. And then if they wish to do it, those maximum contractions over a lifetime.